Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. Right. Your nationality is recorded in the Holy Bible. Right. We have not been taught the truth of God, which is the Israelites. Are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You are the children of God. Right. Brothers, you are the real Israelites, and we can prove it in the Bible. You've been taught that you're Hispanics. You were given that label by the conquistadors. You were given that label by the Spaniards that took you, brothers and sisters, into slavery right. in the 1400s. Namely, 1492, when Christopher Columbus came from Spain and, and sent his conquerors, uh, was it Ponce de Leon, with some more. Uh, and all his conquerors, all his conquistadors, to conquer all the lands where our brothers and sisters, or the modern day Hispanics, dwelt. You were taken captive by the Spaniards. Go to John 8.32. Let's open up with John 8.32. That's the truth of who you actually are. The Bible says that those who be curses put placed on the Israelites, that people would come to your land and steal you and your fruits from your land. Your resources, your wealth, your nationality will be taken from you because we sin. The children of Israel sin. And it's by those curses or by that slavery that we can prove out of the Bible who you are which are the real Israelites according to the Bible. You brothers and sisters are not Mexicans, not uh, Venezuelans, not Nicaraguan, not, uh, uh, give me some, not, you're not Hispanics, you are the children of Israel. You, you are comprised of the Northern Kingdom of Israel. That's who you are. That's your real nationality. That's your real heritage. Come on. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Hello. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So Jesus Christ said, you brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. What are you being set for? From the captivity that is in your mind that you're nothing, that you're just a black, you're just an Hispanic, that you are just the bottom of the bottom, and you're not, you're actually the greatest people to ever walk the face of the earth. Ever. That's how we, and only we, can suffer as we've suffered and still thrive as a people. We can still thrive as a nation under captivity, under great oppression, every single day from the day we're born to the day we leave this earth. Come on, read it again. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's prove that you brothers and sisters, you're not Mexican, you're not Hispanics, you're the children of God. You are the real Israelites according to the Bible. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Israelites according to the Bible That's that you've right. been reading your whole life, that you've been being lied to out of your whole life. Right. You have not learned this Bible in your churches. You have not learned this Bible under Catholicism, under Christianity. Under Baptist, you have not learned the Holy Bible. You have not learned the truth that Christ says shall make you free. Let's read some of this truth. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. The Bible says thou art an holy people. Who is the Bible speaking to? The Israelites. The Bible is speaking to the Israelites. The Bible was written to the Israelites. The Bible is only for the Israelites. Who you are, blacks and Hispanics. You right. are the Israelites. Right. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says you are holy. What makes you holy? The laws were given to you. The laws of God were given to you. Some of the laws of God you keep as tradition today and don't even recognize that they are the laws of God. If you brothers and sisters get a second, come look at some of these signs. We got some images of your forefathers, your ancestors, in some of your ceremonial garments on these signs. And you don't realize that they're the laws of God. Go to Romans, I mean, yeah, go, give me Romans 7. Give me Romans 7. What makes us holy? Why did the Lord say that we are holy unto him? Why did the Lord say that? Come on. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. 
Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. The Bible says you are holy because the laws were given to you, because you are supposed to be keeping the law. The Bible says that you are holy because you are to be keeping the law. When you keep the laws of God, that is what make you holy. That is what make you holy. Not giving all your money to a lying pastor is what makes you holy. That does not make you holy. That does not make you holy because God didn't say do that. God said tithe to the Levites because they had no portion. They had no portion in Israel. Their portion was to be the service of God. So we were to give tithes and offerings so that they could be sustained and their houses and their children could be sustained. We have learned nothing but lies under the false religions that we serve today. Nothing but lies. There is no truth in our churches. Read on. Verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. Come on. And the commandment holy. We've been taught not to keep the laws of God. We've been taught that the laws are done away with. But the Bible says what makes us holy, which we all think we holy, we all claim we holy. The Bible says what? The law is holy. The Bible says the laws of God are holy. Right. Therefore, we are only holy when we obtain, when we observe, when we keep and do the laws of God. Go back to Deuteronomy. Go back to Deuteronomy. Listen up, brothers and sisters. You are the Israelites. It's, you are the Israelites. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. The simplicity of this world, should, you, should be a, you should be tired of it. You should be ashamed of it. You should be sick of this world and being oppressed in it. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Come on. For thou are an holy people. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are to be holy people. Read. Unto the, un, excuse me, unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord your God. Not Christopher Columbus. Not the lies of the religions that you've learned. You are to be holy unto your God. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the traditions that you've learned or the, 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 the cultures that you've learned under oppression if they are not in this Bible for you to serve. Right. If you're not serving God, you are not holy. You are not holy if you are not serving God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. You are chosen people. Read. To be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. We are not like everybody else. Right. Nor should we obtain or try to obtain to be like everybody else. Bring it up. We are different. We are better. We are greater. Come on. To be a special people unto himself. Above all people. What? Above all people. Black man. Black woman. Hispanic man. Hispanic woman. The Bible says you are above all people on the face of the earth. Right. You are above. You are above. Come on, was that it? Yes, sir. Let's get Deuteronomy 28. Listen good, brothers and sisters. Listen good. Earlier on, we said that it's by the curses of God, the oppression that you go through, that we can identify you, in fact, are the children of Israel. That's not my opinion. That's not, a, that's not just a statement I said. God said it. Right. God told us. Right. In the Holy Bible, the same Bible that you have, the same Bible that your pastors will not teach you out of, the same Bible that your pastors omit the truth out of, you are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Right. You are not just Negroes. You are not just, uh, what do they call them, Spicks. You are not just uh, Hispanics. You are not just, uh, give me some more. Panamanian, wetbacks, so all this stuff. You're more, you are the greatest people to ever walk the face of the earth. What? You are the only reason this earth exists. Bring it up. Because you were on it. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Start at 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And that shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Bible, as we just read earlier on, 
God promised that we would be set up above all nations. We are not to be equal. We are not to be uh, seeking equality with the other nations. That is an abomination to God. The Bible says that we are above, God says we are above all people. We are above all people. The moment, go down to 15. But what happened? What happened to us? Why are we not above all people? We're not supposed to be cutting grass. Get out. The nations are supposed to be cutting grass. Right. What? Our grass. Right. You're not supposed to be buying water. The nations should be serving you in, uh, so that they can get water. You're not supposed to be working. This is a condition of captivity because you sin, brothers and sisters. You sin. We've sinned against our God. So he said that we are to be holy unto the Lord our God. That's what he said. We are to be holy unto the Lord our God. But instead, instead matter of fact, what is that, Baruch 3 and 8? Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. While we wait on that, give me Baruch 3 and 8. All right? We said, God said that you are above all people on the planet. You are above. You are special. You are better than if you are holy, if you keep what is holy. The Bible says, God says, the laws are holy. The laws are what make you above. The laws are what make you holy. Right. The laws are what make you special. Bring it up. Come on. The book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. But this is what happened. Instead of attaining the laws of God, instead of observing the laws of God, we left off from them for a curse. We left off from them to be like those who should be our servants. Those who we are those who we are better than. We left off from following the one true God to follow the nations, to act like the nations. Bring it out. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Uh -huh. Where is thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse? So where are we? Read that again. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible says we are still today in our captivity. Right. A lot of y'all think y'all free. A lot of us think that we, because we're not getting whipped with, with our, well, what do you call a bull whip across our back, that we're free. We think that because yokes of iron ain't on our necks, we're free. And we dis, we've learned, we've forced ourselves to disassociate ourselves from what our forefathers went through. That's how foolish we are today. Imagine if they could see us today not giving a damn what they went through. Not caring and disassociating ourselves from that pain that they went through on those slave plantations. We act like that never happened, that didn't exist. For what? To what end? I got you for this. Go What's the reward for you disassociating yourself from the truth of who you are? You are the children of the slave trade. Hey. You black Hispanics are the children of slaves. Right. Come on. We'll finish that in Baruch, then jump to, where is it, Isaiah? Zechariah. Zechariah. Come on. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Come on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. The Bible says God scattered us for a reproach and for a curse. Right. Because we sinned against him. Bring it out. Instead of seeking God, we sought the other nation's approval. We sought the laws and the ways of the other nations. So God gave us to them to serve because that's what we was looking to do anyways. Serve them. Be like them. So now we're slaves to them. Right. Now we are oppressed by them. Right. Come on. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. Uh -huh. And to be subject to payments. And to be subject to what? Two payments. So you ask yourself, if we the greatest people, if we above all people, why are we out cutting the grass? Right. Why are we out standing on the block? Gee. Why they don't stand on the block? Right. Why they ain't suffering every day? Why can they feed their kids every day? Right. Why they don't gotta work like we work Bring to feed themselves every day, to feed their families every day? Because we were subject to payments and a curse. God scattered us for payments and a curse because we left off from being the greatest people on earth. Right. We left off from that. We hated God when he corrected us. We hated God when he sent the prophet amongst us to teach us the right from the wrong. Right. To teach us his ways from our own wicked ways. 
We hated him. We hated that prophet, thus hating the Lord. So he gave us to our own device. He gave us to our own wickedness. That's how we out. We the ones serving the, the people who we are greater than. That's how it is that we cutting the grass instead of them cutting the grass. What? Right. You kings, you rulers, you priests, you gods of this world, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, how have you fallen so low? Because you left off. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.